Well, it is uh, a little bit past my goal. I was going to get up, meander around, go slow today at the Blue Ridge Motorcycle Campground, uh, let the tent dry, roll out at noon. Man, it's noon. I'm sitting on my ass. I haven't even started breaking the camper down. Don't really feel like it, to be quite honest. But, you know, I got to go home today because uh, tomorrow is my wife's birthday and you do not want to miss your wife's birthday. That, that wouldn't be good. So it's mostly dry. I don't want to put the canvas away wet. I did that on the uh, seven person TP tent from Ozark Trail. Did some little bit of damage there. I'm trying not to do that here. Uh, now some folks I talked to, they said to help keep the uh, canvas waterproof once a year you take uh, something like Camp Dry or you know some good waterproofing agent and you go and you spray the whole canvas out and that helps keep it in good stead. So I'll probably do that. Uh, the color of the canvas is a, a brownish so it helps actually soak some of the sun in here and as the sun gets a little bit uh, farther toward the back end of the camper the additional room heats up sun. It's a little chilly here last night. I have a snug pack uh, sleeping bag. It's a black one. It is kind of light. It says it is good to 35 below. It was very close to that last night. I had to stuff uh, an extra wool blanket in there, Army Issue style wool blanket. And that made it comfortable. I got to figure out what I did with my extended cold weather sleeping system. I have a set from the uh, Marine Corps issue that I bought on surplus and that stuff is good to 35 below absolutely comfortable Couldn't find it for this one. I've been looking and looking <sighs> A little frustrated brought all my stuff to cook with uh, Brought my stuff, uh, you know, like my alcohol stoves that I've been working on for the last couple of weeks Didn't bother bring any denatured alcohol Didn't bother to bring any pans to cook in or a skillet to cook on and didn't bother to bring any groceries to cook. And we got lucky this time. It was a weekend. There was a lot more people here. The kitchen was open. We ate at the kitchen. But I could certainly do some cooking on hand later. And I don't think I'll probably do that. So, still working on it. I think uh, in the spring. And I've got a couple of uh, videos saved to my mini mite journey on my playlist for YouTube. And I think what I'm probably going to try is uh, the pizza. They made a Dutch oven pizza, and I saw on another channel how they made a really good, simple cheese, easy to make, take you maybe an hour, just pay good attention, take the cheese, put it right on the pizza, throw whatever toppings else on it. That sounds like great campfire food, so I'm going to have to find me a 10 or 12 quart uh, Dutch oven, we'll put that in the camper here, and I'm sure that will be uh, a lot of good meals to come. Just because you're camping doesn't mean you shouldn't eat well. Talk with you guys a few minutes down the road.